When I found out I was chosen as one of the 15 Action Canada Fellows for this year, I was so excited. We just had our first conference and I'm creating our cohort's very first vlog, so I wanted to use it as an opportunity to introduce you to Action Canada 2020. So what is the Action Canada Fellowship? What do we do? Who are we? Let's take a look. You'll find a driven group of dreamers, makers, thinkers, and creators who want to explore, understand, and know more about how jobs are changing. So what is the Action Canada Fellowship? Well, it's in the name, really. Action, because we value taking action to solve problems. Canada, because we approach issues from a Canadian lens. And fellowship, because we're creating a network of people who have diverse skills and backgrounds to call upon when we're solving problems in the future. What do we do as Action Canada Fellows? Well, the program lasts 10 months, and from what I can tell so far, there are four main objectives. First, to develop a Canada-wide network of problem solvers. Second, write and publish an op-ed. Third, develop and publish a policy proposal in smaller task forces. And fourth, discover Canada by attending five conferences across Canada. We just finished our first conference where I traveled to my laptop. We couldn't travel, something about a pandemic. Did COVID stop us from having an amazing first conference? No. We learned a TikTok dance from our amazing Action Canada team, Anna, Jonathan, and Komlan V. All through the power of Zoom, we were introduced to our incredibly impressive mentors who will lead our policy task force. Jane Tabor, who was the former co-host to CTV's Question Period and senior parliamentary writer for the Globe and Mail. Danielle Jean, who was the national security advisor to Justin Trudeau. And Mike Degagne, who is the president of Yukon University. We were also introduced to Suzanne, our executive coach. She's kind of like our fellowship's beta Lloyd. We spent four days in sessions on a huge range of topics. We had policy sessions on the theme for this year, the future of work from a place-based lens post-pandemic. You know, just a nice, clean, narrow topic. We discussed a huge range of issues with policy experts. We talked about Canada's digital divide, indigenous entrepreneurship, creative destruction, jobs with high risk of automation, and how income inequality has doubled over the last 30 years. All of this information will help us decide what policy issues we want to tackle in our task force. We were also involved in non-policy sessions to help us grow as professionals. We had a session called The Art of Dialogue, which emphasized the importance of being present and not multitasking. We also learned a concept we all loved, to make sure our dialogue serves the room and not just ourselves. We had a session on using storytelling as a policy tool and how people remember what they feel, and that sounding smart is the enemy of communication. Most importantly, we started building friendships with our cohort. Everyone in our group is so impressive. I was intimidated by everyone until I met them one-on-one, -on -one. and of course everyone is just super enthusiastic and fun to talk to. These people really can't be described by a job title or location. Learn more about them in the link. But as a really quick introduction, Tatir works in Ottawa as a policy advisor in the deputy minister's office. Chardet works in Deloitte's corporate responsibility office in Vancouver. Phil is a program director at the National Research Council of Canada, also a Forbes top 30 under 30, so cool. John Sebastian is a policy analyst at the Yukon Housing Corporation. Fadi is a senior analyst at the Federal Regional Economic Development Agency for Quebec. Doug is a lawyer up in Fort Francis, Ontario. John is an entrepreneur, currently the founder and president of a cool tech company in PEI. Mark is the deputy chief of staff for Doug Ford in Toronto. Dakota is a program manager at Youth Climate Lab in Saskatoon. Milana is the lead staff on the poverty reduction file at Power Lab in Toronto. Palesh is a strategic partnership specialist at the Global Institute for Water Security at the University of Saskatchewan. Yula is the special projects manager for Air North for the Yukon, but based in Toronto. 
Carol Ann is a doctoral student at the University of Ottawa, and Helen is the Director of Policy and Programs at the Law Foundation of Ontario. And then there's me, Gabby. I work in Toronto at Jacobs, which is a big engineering firm. So, that's the program. That's us. This is the first of many adventures we'll be on together, and one of the other fellows will be taking you with us on our second tour through this vlog, possibly in PEI, possibly on our laptops. Time will tell. One thing is for sure, this is going to be a year of learning for all of us. If you want to read more about our week, you can read Eula's blog here. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next Action Canada vlog.